Oh. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to, welcome in, welcome to Everest Changing Arena. Can you hear my voice shaking? I'm the sweatiest I've ever been in my entire life. Hi, my name is Sloane, aka Art Plebe. Uh, you have seen me, maybe, on TikTok or on Twitch, because I do a lot of streaming as well. Um, we are going to introduce everybody, including a little more information about me, but first I just want to give a real quick shout out to Dungeon Scrawl. They are the service that I use to create the map for today. So thank you very much, Dungeon Scrawl. Your stuff is so good! I love it. Uh, but anyway, now, let's do some introductions. As I said, you can find me at Art Plebe on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram at art.plebe. Uh, and you can also see me play on Fae Fiends and Friends um, at 8.30 EST on Sunday nights. I play a slutty little wizard named Bastion. Or you can find me here on Friday nights playing uh, Barney. I almost forgot the name of my freaking character. Um, the half elven druid who's very anxious on Off the Rails. Uh, so yeah, that's me. I think we're gonna go to Aaron next. Hey. Aaron? Hello, I'm Aaron, also known as Adam Adam City, and I'll pretty much everywhere on the internet. That's where you might have seen me on pretty much everywhere that matters. But if you really want to see me, you can always find me over on twitch.tv slash this show is a mimic every Saturday where I play a wildfire druid and I have a really, really good time. Uh, but that's all of the places that you're gonna find me. No need to worry about anything else. I think I'm about it. The next person. <laughs> um, Matt, do you want to go next? Yes, of course. Hello there, beautiful people. Hi, how are you all doing? It's an honor to be here. Um, I am Captain Crail on all things, but mainly on Twitch, where uh, I uh, stream uh, Monday to Thursday, and we have just like a good old time with some good goofs and some good vibes. Um, the link is just the <laughs> link is just there in the chat. It's our promo. Uh, um, but yes, that is it. That oh, I'm also on a uh, a podcast called uh, Realms Apart, which is which I'm on with the beautiful Momo Brian, who is in chat, who also edits it. And yes, that's me. That's done. I will go on for hours. Nice. And Noah. Woo! Hey, howdy, hey. My name's Noah, or Nova Killing, on all platforms, mostly Twitch. I stream there a lot. Uh, if you want to laugh at someone uh, who's stupid all the time for a good time yourself, go ahead and come on over, hit that follow, come watch me. Anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I also forgot something. I did a guest arc on a podcast called Critter Miss that has a bunch of people who you know and love. Uh, Rap Squatch from TikTok. Also, you know the guy who was like, kink shaming is my kink? Also him. Uh, this will come. <laughs> uh, it's Critter Miss. You can find it on wherever you get podcasts. I was there for like three episodes, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I think that's it for introductions. So now I've been told that I should listen for a disembodied voice. Joe, what's up Hello. there, Sloan? It's me. Uh, I'm here to do announcements today. Uh, it's pretty chill up here in the clouds. Uh, well, look, birds. Anyway, y'all should uh, come and hang out uh, at the Welcome Inn. We've got cool programming available for you all. Uh, like May 21st, we have a show called Off the Rails. I don't know, you should check it out. That's Fridays, I think. And then on May 22nd, there's a, a show called C Conundrum Company. Uh, <laughs> that's a dumb name. But you should come check that out on Saturdays. And then, of course, May 24th, guys, we have Highlight Heroes, uh, which is featuring some cool dude named R. Morgan Slade. Super hyped for that. Yeah, should be good. I see, I see Matt responding. Super cool person. Uh... I've been told that I need to shout out our sponsors. Uh, they're pretty chill. The first of whom is uh, Skull Splitter Dice. Skull Splitter Dice, brah, <laughs> uh, is available. They do a bunch of cool like dice stuff. You could go to their 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 channel, their like store thing, and buy those dice there. That's what stores do. So you should go and do that. They also like sponsor our channel and stuff. So you know it's pretty cool. We like them. Uh, the other sponsor, of course, is the gooeyest of cube companies. <laughs> I love cubes. Uh, the Gooey Cube Company, guys, they make a bunch of, like, D&D &D supplemental material for game masters and stuff to use, uh, which I don't like doing work myself, so uh, they do it for me, which is just uber radical my bra <laughs> uh of course we've got the community event going so you can spend them twee tokens which is kind of like super neat uh and people are going to be playing uh from the campaigns like their characters and doing a thing with uh jackbox i think i don't know that's pretty neat uh i guess we have a wikipedia 
cool for them for getting that done. Great job. Uh, and then, of course, last but not least, uh, I'll hand it back to Josh. What up, bro? Uh, if you want to do that charity thing, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. How'd you get in my house? Uh, anyway, this month we'd like to focus on the Coalition for the Homeless. The Coalition for the Homeless is the nation's oldest advocacy and direct service organization helping homeless individuals. Uh, they state that affordable housing, sufficient food, and the chance to work for a living wage are fundamental rights in any civilized society. Since their inception in 1981, the Coalition has worked through litigation, public education, and direct services to ensure that these goals are realized. Guys, before you spend money on, on our channel, before you subscribe, before you go to the merch store or any of that jazz, we'd highly recommend that you click on the donate button, button on our About Us page or the link in chat and go make a donation in our name, in your name, in a family member's name, in a friend's, whatever. Wh whatever it is, just make a donation, please. We'd very much appreciate that. Uh, Kevin's got the munchies, so I have to go now feed him, so I'll hand it back to you, Sloan. <laughs> yeah, bye, dudes. Okay, bye. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Josh, and also thank a you, Kevin. Of choices. A lot of choices. Um, there many today. choices were made. How do you follow uh, that? Um, That's just amazing. I don't know is the thing Bye, that gang. now we're, I have to done. deal with it. That was it. That was the show. <laughs> Thanks so much for show. coming. I loved it. That and was a it. big time uh, rush. rush. <laughs> 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 I'm leaving the call. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm so nervous. <laughs> are you? Are you ready? Are you prepared? Are you? My yes. body is ready. I'm as ready as I ever will be. And I will take you in to tonight's session of Ever's Changing Arena. The three of you are in complete darkness. It's very cool. The ground below you is flat and even. You can see nothing. While you breathe, you can hear like the general sort of, sort of echoes and atmosphere that indicate that you're in a large room. But you can hear nothing else for just a moment. And then there's a large bang as a light comes on, shining down on the three of you in the middle of this beautiful white marble room and confetti shoots out from cannons strapped to the vaulted, also white marble ceiling, and just flutters down around you, gold and pink and blue, as you hear the sound of audience cheering raucously, and you hear a voice behind you say, Welcome! Welcome, welcome, everyone! To another wonderful, exciting, interesting new session in which I invite Travelers, adventurers from around the world to come and interact with my, my builds, my mazes, my creatures and creations. Welcome everyone to Ever's Changing Arena and the entire audience goes up, screaming. Um, you turn behind you and you can see on this sort of rounded dais that you can see behind you, um, it is lifted up and you see a tall purple tiefling figure with red eyes in a cloak with long hair dressed and presenting uh, almost exactly like Professor Trelawney from Harry Potter. Uh, this person looks like a an elementary school art teacher if that elementary school art teacher had been stored in a closet for like three decades. Um, <laughs> you watch as they step forward, step up onto the railing and then step off to a gasp from the crowd, but they just float gently down, their hair billowing in a in a fake wind, um, and they land behind you uh, and begin to walk towards you. You are up on a dais in the center of the room uh, with one small step surrounding it, and Evers begins to walk a circle around you, addressing a crowd which you cannot see. Um, and they say, these are our contestants today. We will go down the line and introduce them. Why don't we start with you, the buff one? And uh, they are going to point to your character, Aaron. Oh, okay. Do you want me to like describe him, or like what do you what, what do you want? Your first. Okay. Give me a, a physical appearance, and they will say, uh, "Introduce yourself to the crowd." Oh, uh, I'm uh, neat. 
I'm Bayonard the uh, Baker. And you just see a man who wears a very like tight white shirt with like a little hat and red suspenders that go over his shoulders that hold up a pair of like black work slacks. And he's just there carrying a small like messenger bag that smells of pastries of some kind and a rolling pin in one hand for no reason. Uh, and they uh, say, wonderful, wonderful, Bayonard, thank you, welcome, welcome, Bayonard, and the audience says, welcome, Bayonard, ah! um, and then they turn to the shorter of stature adults in the room, <laughs> and they turn to your character, Noah, why don't you describe who you are? Um, my character you see uh, standing at a whopping three foot two, uh, <laughs> this brown haired, brown eyed, uh, big smiling halfling, uh, he's already got his like, deck of cards on his hand. He's like fumbling around, getting ready to show a trick. He's like, oh, hi, I'm Crumb Bombadil. Nice to see you all. Ready? And he like tries to do a trick and the card like flutters out of his hand and you see it fail. He goes, ta-da. <laughs> Evers does a polite clap and encourages the audience and they go, ah, Crumb. And they just clap and cheer. I've ever had. Um, and then they turn to a much shorter figure standing near the middle and they sort of like they're quite tall uh and they bend uh at the waist down towards your character matt and they say why don't you introduce yourself darling um there is a very small uh a uh dragon-like um uh person who is who is looking around very absent-mindedly like they are entirely distracted by everything that's going on um they uh have a a little uh red um tunic which is tied around their neck and uh they have uh like a uh just like a a a kind of normal um shirt and trousers but seem to be dressed up with this big like uh, superhero-esque emblem on it and you can see that they are definitely a child like definitely a young child as well um and uh, uh they look around like oh uh um hi um i my name is pine um it's uh, uh i am 10 years old i'm from uh locksboro village um and i uh, and i like uh, and I, I, uh, I really like my uh, Loxbron, uh, the Destroyers, my favorite hero. And I'm here because uh, my mom said that I could be like Loxbron, the Destroyer, if I, uh, if I, if I come here today. Wonderful, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Give it up for Pine, and the entire audience goes, "Woo, Pine!" I start clapping uh, too because this is a cute um, kid. <laughs> yeah, um, a literal child, and this is when I get kicked off of Twitch for putting a literal child into a Dungeons and Dragons game. Um, <laughs> um, so, um, uh, the Professor Trelawney looking ass uh, is going to turn back towards the audience and just go, welcome all of our contestants. I'm sure you're all a bit confused. This isn't our usual type, but um, just hold on to your seats for a little while and I'll be explaining forthwith. Um, you can see on all three of these figures, they each wear a sort of cropped vest. Um, it is black. It has Velcro on it. Uh, you see that there are, like, flashing glass ports on them. Uh, they're black right now, sort of mirroring, but there's a square one near the collarbones, a circular one on the chest, two, one on each side, and one on the back. Um, each of them wears one of these. And Evers goes, now that we've had our introductions, we move on to the quest. First of all, I'd like to thank Tilla's Bardic Community College for donating so <laughs> kindly the use of not only their space, but also their unwanted first year, um, first year Bard uh, sculpture, painting, and uh, fiber art projects um, to our use tonight. Uh, cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much. Uh, and of course, they've already signed a waiver, so... Uh, um, uh, no, no money will be spent in the aftermath of this regarding any property damage that might incur. Um, they're going to take this building down anyway. Uh, moving beyond that, though, we are now seated within the magnificent Community College Museum, where we have installed many of these first-year projects, which were given up. Uh, and your job, and they turn to the uh, group before them, 
is to retrieve the Twingit. You're not sure what that is. Allow me to show you. And they will spin their hands and a an illusion of a large room, much like the one that you're in, um, filled. Uh, it has uh, one floor and then there's like, um, uh, what are they called? Catwalks almost around the edges uh, where you can clearly walk. It's lined with paintings on the catwalk floor and there are statues around the corners of the main floor. But the most incredible thing about this room is in the middle of it stands this massive statue, just brilliantly posed, uh, massive musculature of a long flowing haired um, humanoid looking creature, but with longer ears, uh, not pointed like an elf, but rounded. Um, and they hold in the tips of their fingers um, a silver ingot. Um, and they point to it and sort of zoom in like computer enhance and they go, that, that is the Twingit. It is your job to make your way through this museum, find the Twingit, retrieve it, and bring it back here. But of course, if we just let you go through all by yourselves, it would be too easy, and it wouldn't be fun, now would it? And this is where the twist is, audience, and they all <gasps> and start whispering amongst themselves, and they go, Yes, because if we were simply sending people through a regular museum, regular pe people, that wouldn't be as fun to watch, now would it? No, I have something very special planned for tonight. Something new, something interesting, something that looks a little like this. And they pull from their many, many robes a glowing sphere. Um, it, it changes color rapidly. And as you look at it, it's like difficult almost to look at. And the audience like gasps as they all see this wonderful radiance. And the sphere begins to float just a little bit above their hand. Um, and they say, we've gotten something a little interesting, something recovered by one of my friends. No need to ask questions. But this, ladies, gentlemen, others, this is going to be what makes the night different. Are you ready? And they all start screaming and cheering. Yeah. And then they turn to you and they say, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Then let the game begin. And they reach up and smash the orb onto the ground. And there is a burst of light that flickers through the entirety of the rainbow before just becoming this brilliant, bright white that you can't even see past. There is a rippling gasp and the sound of like chimes and bells that surround you. And you feel a tremor passed through your body as each of you begin to turn and change. First is the baker. What begins to happen to his form? So let, let me let me ask you a question. So, uh, oh God, okay. Do you know the Muffin Man? <laughs> the Muffin Man? <laughs> the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. Who, Who lives, lives on Drury, Drury Lane? Lane? <laughs> so... I hate you. <laughs> so what begins to happen as this arcane um, tr transformation begins to happen to Bayonard, um, with the glowing light, you see he stands there now in a brand new outfit of a white baker's apron that lowers itself over a white kilt, his bare shoulders and arms there with these red lashes that go past and show his exposed back. Oh, as in one hand, he holds a bread knife and the other a rolling pin and a magnificent pastry chef hat sits aboard his oh, head. God. And across the front of the apron, there is a singular chocolate chip muffin. <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Incredible. Um, white light engulfs Bayonard, and he makes this transformation and begins to float back down, his kilt fluttering gloriously. Um, and then we move on to Krom. Krom, what does your transformation look like? Uh, you see Krom start to, like, almost levitate a little bit. Like, he starts mm -hmm. to hover almost an inch off the ground, and he's, like, lit up in this magical aura that has flooded all of us. And you see him go from his ragged tunic clothes, and then all of a sudden a bright flash of light, and he lands back down in the same clothes. That's it? <laughs> he just got all. That's it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, 
and as you the magic was inside you all along. It was back. inside you all along, and as you land back down, <laughs> tragically <laughs> the same or not depending. Um, Pine, what does your transformation look like? As this wave of energy uh, sweeps through Pine, Pine um, falls off their feet a little. But as they as they uh, uh, fall, um, the s- small sphere of of stars bursts around them, and there are these different constellations all in the sky. These constellations swirl and like fall in front of them, and there are these twelve large dragons, all that stand um, uh, in front and around them. Um, Pine fully falls on the floor, um, and then as they get up, one of these dragons turns and and bends down and and, and offers out their hand, and and Pine takes them and and, and lifts them up a little. Uh, The small uh, superhero costume uh, that Pine had looks a lot more um, official now. Um, And uh, then the... uh, the, all these, all these different dragons all turn back into their constellations and then shoot into, into pine as their uh, little cape floats in the wind. And they Fantastic. Go, also, oh, neat. if I make a mistake, I love that. If I make a mistake regarding any of y'all's characters' pronouns, please correct me immediately. It doesn't. It's okay. Um, but yes. So, the three of them lift up, engulfed in white light, and then touch back down. Uh, somewhat changed, some not at all, and (laughs) this white light that flickers through the rainbow prism scatters outward from them, seeming to cover each surface, going over statues, seeping into paintings, running up columns and outward, and the entire audience bursts into screams and cheers as they watch this showmanship take place. And Evers turns back around and says, These wonderful, ordinary people have been changed. And as they say that, the vests on your person light up red on the circular panes. And then on each of your chests, numbers start to tick up. Um, On Bayonard, it goes all the way up to 22. On Krom, it goes all the way up to 29. And small little pine, the numbers tick, 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 until they get to 32. And each of you, having been just a moment before, normal, ordinary people, are now fifth level wild magic sorcerers. And you can feel the energy thrumming around you. And as the light seems to pass out of this room, you also notice something else. You can hear What sounds like movement echoing down the halls of this museum rumbles and shaking and creaking. And you hear more feel than hear vibrations sinking through the marble, echoing up your feet. You hear cries and screams as you listen around you. Uh, And Evers turns back to you and says, yes. You're not the only ones who get to benefit from this change. Now better get a move on, sweethearts. Your time is starting now. And they snap their fingers and disappear. And you all are going to switch over to the other page. Don't mind me. I taught myself how to use Roll20 today. Over (laughs) here. And you see before you these statues which were lined at the front of the room begin to shimmy and shake. And also... The paintings that line the walls begin to vibrate. And I need all of you to roll initiatives. <laughs> uh, oh, hell yeah. Are we fighting what? Starry Night? <laughs> Rock and roll game. <laughs> it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Twinkly Evening. Oh, no. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah. Has Starry Night passed out of copyright? Night. I did has to have. It, it has I, to have, right? I it's think me with it on that, all the time. Yeah, that sounds. It, I, I've never considered it even being in copyright. That's such I a don't sad. Think so. They made a whole movie thought. with that style of artwork and the like artwork. Yeah, itself, yeah. So I don't cool. think it I don't, is. I don't know. Um, okay, uh, Aaron, give me yours. Uh, seven minus one, six. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. <laughs> um, uh, Noah, can I get yours, please? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, fantastic. And Matt. Uh, I got five plus two, seven. 
Hell yes. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. I love it. Is it because you're five? Or... Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. So, oh, give me a moment. Tiny boy. All right. Um, I just have... Noah, it's going to be your turn. Right off the top. Um, so you see in front of you, four of these statues have begun to come to life. They're like your classic sort of, uh, one half is like classic Greek, kind of like perfect muscles and super shiny. And the other half is like these sort of hellacious looking, like these are the, 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 uh, least technically worried students in, in the, in the class, uh, kind of look like half-melted candles. Um, but, but they are beginning to move, and you also see the paintings to the side of you. Uh, one larger to your left, and another two others smaller to your right. Um, and they are all beginning to move. Uh, yeah. Just being shocked by all this, mm -hmm. I'm sure Crumb would be going, ah, 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 get back, get back, and he pulls out his boomerang and just instinctively <laughs> whips it at them. Uh, who are you going for? <laughs> Let me know. Uh, the pretty boy on the right. Pretty boy on the right? Okay, fantastic. Go ahead and roll your attack. Give me... That is a 9 plus 3, 12. Fantastic. Um, that actually does not hit. Um, what are you throwing at it again? Boomerang. A boomerang? Okay, so your boomerang goes toward it and kind of like, ping! Uh, maybe does a little bit of a chip, um, but kind of like ricochets off the arm, off the wall, and comes back towards you. Um, I go to catch else? it and completely miss. Oh no, but... bud! <laughs> it's um, just like a two, a one foot high above my head. I'm just... Oh no! Uh, that being said, it is now the statue's turns. Um, so they ah. are going oh, to... Beans. Uh, immediately start going for the person who threw something at them, because that's not nice. They're gonna go 5, <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This one cannot make it to you. Um, and, uh, this one is also, uh, gonna do the same thing. Kind of come around with its friend. Uh, and the other two are going to, seeing the folks, uh, in the center, are going to attack them. So you're gonna have one come across to here, uh, and the other is gonna come over here. Um, um, and those two are going to make attacks on, uh, both Bayonard, right? Is that how you pronounce it? Shit! Ba it's Bayonard. Bayonard. Yeah. And also uh, on yeah. Pine. Okay, here we go. So, um, the first one is going to lash out at you, uh, Bayonard, with its, uh, mouthful of very weirdly misshapen teeth, and it misses with a four. Wow. <laughs> um, okay. And then... Oh my god, well, I'm rolling garbage, lucky for you all. Uh, the other one is going to go for Pine, reaching out with this weird, sort of, mitt-like hand. Um, Pine, that is going to be a 11 to hit. Uh, that does not. Okay. As, can I, can I do sneaky flavor? Hell yeah! As, um, as they go to attack, it seems like a surefire hit, and then there is this, like, astral projection, like, kind of, like, uh, a little bit opaque huge dragon with like a sword and a shield that like bursts out of pine uh, far yeah. bigger than them and like and blocks uh, and blocks the attack as the as the monster goes and pine's like whoa oh wow oh, yes i love that it's a superhero <laughs> the other two are going to use their dash to close with everyone else um and then it is going to be uh our friend um pine's turn it's your go my friend um you are uh, facing one statue to like this way and another one behind you. Mm, yeah. Ooh. What is what is what does our little boy do? Um, what does a little boy do? What does our little 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 friend little do? Boy. Uh, okay. Um. They they as they as like because they like reached their hands out which blocked the uh, yes. uh, blocked the attack. They're like. Oh, what what happened? Um, there's going to be another small uh, astral projection of this of this large, very uh, uh, very like kingly looking dragon. Yes, fantastic. Um, that that kneels down like you've been gifted part the the powers of the twelve astral dragons, young one. <gasps> we, you can Christ. use us as you demand, and we will follow your lead. 
Oh, just like in just just like in the in the story of the story of the destroyer. Uh, yes, just like in the story of the destroyer. Oh, cool. Okay, can you kill him, please? Yes, of course. Uh, and then uh, Pine's like, oh, neat. And then go uh, uh, leans back and uh, says like uh, an overly like comic book move. Uh, okay. Give it to like, me. Uh, Give it to me. I'm worth it. <laughs> like. Four rays of Osiris, go! And then lick out to their hands, and then these four, like, doo -doo -doo -doo, little rays come out. Uh, he's gonna cast Scorching Ray at third level. Um, oh, on, shit! Uh, You're dropping the big spell slot oh, right now. I'm so sorry. Which which ones are you doing again? Um, I'm gonna all do... Of them? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do... Uh, not, not necessarily all of them. I have four rays that I can do. Right. Uh, which I believe I can call separately like i can do one damage to one and if it crumbles i'll be like oh okay can i switch it to that right okay so let's um, go through like that you just tell me which one you're starting yeah, with yeah okay uh the one right next to me the one that's right behind me uh um, fantastic uh is gonna go and that is um that's just that's just a roll to to hit gamers um roll to hit baby one. uh there we go that's 25 oh uh, for the yes first one to hit yes uh, 25 Absolutely. and then that's six damage okay Still up. Um, the next one is a 15 to hit. Hits. Uh, that's five, is it five damage, additional five. Um, okay. And then do -do -do. let's just roll. Let's just roll this bad boy. And these are both um, to the same one? Uh, yes, both to the same that's one. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's a 25 to hit. Yep. Um, and that is uh, 13. Uh, Jesus. Oh, damage? No, that's not 13, because I <laughs> accidentally, I said the wrong thing. Six damage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> great. What, okay. I rolled the wrong thing by quite a margin. Uh, and then uh, the last one is a 26 Yes, to hit, absolutely. Uh, an additional six damage. Okay. Um, all to the same? At, uh, all to the same. Great. So all together, I'm going to calculate it that's for ease. Six, uh, 12, 12, 18... 23 points of damage. 24. Is it 24? 20, oh, math! 24, it's fine. Anyway, we'll just do 24. I uh, know. I get it. <laughs> I don't care that much. Um, um, yeah, we've only got two like, hours, y'all. <laughs> yeah, this is a large, large dragon. Look like look like a juggler. Um, okay, is like, we're like, hey there, young one. How's it going? He's like, oh, hi. Uh, can you get them? And he's like, well, of course I can. Da, 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 and then throws these four little balls and, that like turn into Oh, my God. Thing. Yeah. And this is one of the like really, uh, really muscular, like sexy one. Of, not, I mean, a statue. As sexy as a statue can be. This is weird. Uh, the statue. And <laughs> he just turns around just well, bam with one of his juggling pins um, and just like cracks off its head. Uh, and it just like goes flying to the other side yeah. of the room. You see that its arms are still flailing, but it is significantly, <laughs> excuse me, significantly damaged. Go ahead and roll your rush uh, and we'll come back to you at the end. Um, and then oh, oh. we're gonna go ahead and jump to, um, oh, okay, interesting. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, now it is the painting's turn. So they oh, no. are going to, yeah, Here we go. <laughs> they can move. They can move. Are they going to fall off the wall? Ooh. So you watch as the paintings all um, sort of rush in towards you. Um, and in fact, they can fly. Um, they just seem to levitate off the wall as they come towards you. <laughs> oh, ooh, and this one can close. Um, so it's going to go ahead and attack the thing that just did the big scary dragon thing. Um, so, here we go, <gasps> Pine, it's coming for you, baby. Um, that is ah. a, uh, 21 to hit. Ah, uh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so you take five points of piercing damage. As this, um, this painting, like, is vibrating angrily, and then it just, like, the frame around it splits in half, um, as it just, like, takes its splinters and digs them into, ah. uh, Pine's vest, into the, uh, the sensor in the center, um, and your, uh, total hit points drop by five points. Okay, so we're not stabbing children, that's- No, that's we're not stabbing enough. children. We're not stabbing children. It's no. a No stabbing children. <laughs> yep. Only do that, never. Ah, and Ow. that means that it is your turn, Aaron. Okay. 
Uh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna have some fun with this. Can I, can I move here taking an opportunity attack from that one statue? Ooh, you sure can. Okay, absolutely. I'm gonna do that. Okay, fantastic. Um, so, uh, that statue I believe is going to get advantage. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. Oh, well, good for, for you. I rolled a five and a natural one, so that's like nothing. Well, okay. What's it was the a 10 to hit. Bonus? I have an AC of nine, so yeah. I, go, go, I go, forgot. Go. Oh, Everything nice. should I, hit I, me always. I remembered. Um, uh, that is going to be ten points. Of ten points damage. of damage. Mm -hmm. I have lost half of my hit points. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. But this is your wheelhouse, buddy. You I have it. so I have done so well. I got a fifteen. I did a good job. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, absolutely. You pass. Um, so this statue, like, this is one of the Uggo ones, and it just, like, puts its hands on you and just shoves, um, but you manage to stay standing with your big baker muscles. Uh, go ahead. Take your turn. Not, not very nice. Consent before contact. And he's going <laughs> to take a step forward and turn around, and he's going to reach into his bag of pastries and pull out what looks like a bright red muffin, like, like crimson red, like unhealthily Ooh. red. Mm -hmm. Oh, spicy muffin time! It just eats the full muffin. <laughs> oh, and fuck it, we're Christ. dropping high level spell slots. I'm gonna go third level dragon's breath. Oh, incredible. <laughs> fire damage. Jesus Christ, uh, okay. Oh, I believe with a 15 foot uh, uh, cone, I should be able to hit the two statues and the small starry knight that are all lined yes. up in front of me. Yes, absolutely you can. I agree. Um, I'm gonna what do I gotta do? I think it's deck saves. Let me go okay. look. Uh, yeah, okay. deck saves DC 15. All right, here we go. Okay, that is a fail on the statue and it's gonna be um, a fail on the painting and uh, another fail on the other statue. So they all fail. Gonna take, as I bite into the spicy muffin, you see tears begin to come <laughs> down my eyes as I open my mouth and just a flaming torrent comes out doing 13 <laughs> points of fire damage to each of them. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. 13 oh, points. Sorry, okay, uh, so... Um, oh, roll my absolutely fantastic. 13, so that is... Good lord have mercy. All right, fantastic. So that is going to be you. This painting just bursts into flame, totally immolated, explodes into oh, ash and yeah. tatters as it just flutters to the ground. Um, you have eliminated one painting. Um, and that is your turn. It's the bottom of the round. So did anyone get any surge results? Okay. I see two. Aaron, what'd you get? I got a 44, which is like in teleport as a bonus action up to 20 feet every turn for a minute. Wow, Fuck. that's so hype. Matt, that what did you get? So, um, I got I got kind of exactly the opposite of a thing, which is extremely cool. Okay. Uh, I, I got an 11, which is roll a d10. Your height changes by a number of inches equal to the roll. Um, uh, oh, if the roll is odd, you oh, shrink. Child. If the roll is even, you grow. I got okay. six, so okay. I grow six inches. Um... Tall child, tall <laughs> child. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. So this this round of combat finishes, and the audience all screams and cheers, and they gasp as they watch uh, Bayonard's form begins to flicker strangely, and the small pine suddenly shoots up half a foot, uh, and that is going to be back at the top. We are at our friend Noah. Hello. Tell me what Chrome does. Uh, so the boomerang that I failed to catch is behind one of the handsome statues. So I'm going to run uh, straight down. Uh, is the statue larger than me in size? Mm, they're all medium. Okay. Okay. But it's it's taller than you. Okay. Well, I was but... gonna say because my yeah, if I was small, I was gonna be able to go yes. through it. Uh, I'm just gonna take the opportunity to attack uh, and run about uh, five, ten, fifteen feet straight down. So I'll down. Take, yeah, straight down. Okay, go. Can you go ahead oh, and move your can. icon for me? Just so I know exactly. Okay, there we go. There you go. I don't use. This um, so you kind of. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You kind of pivot around. Um, okay, okay, okay. All right, well, this is gonna be with advantage. So that is. Oh. It was a twelve. So that is going to be a. Eighteen to hit you. Yeah, it barely hits. <laughs> well, uh, uh, you are going to take um, uh, five points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. All right. Strength. 
Give me the strength. Amazing throw. Plus zero, I got a natural 20. Okay. Fuck, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, this, um, again, the statue places its hands on you and kind of like hits you in the chest uh, on the center part. Um, and you do take damage. Your count ticks down by five points, but you stabilize yourself um, with your small mountain man form. Uh, and then you go to retrieve your boomerang. Um. I, without even grabbing the boomerang, it's still on the ground. I'm just like, it's not hurt. And I like throw my arm as I'm falling and a chromatic oh, yes. orb. Uh, <gasps> with, I'm going to use a sorcerer point yes! to do, um, what is it? It's called, where's it at? Where's it at? I'm so sorry. A uh, twin spell. Uh, I can expend oh, a sorcerer sick. point to do a twin spell Hell and target yes. a second creature. So I'm just going to like whack both the handsome statues that were yes. next to me with, uh, with a chromatic orb. Uh, Tell me what I got to do. So it's, I got to roll for Dan, oh, to hit first. Uh, first one, I got 11, so probably not. Misses. And then the second one was a 21. Oh yeah, absolutely, that hits. Okay, cool. So I hit that, I new to this spell, let's see. You hurl, uh, da, 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 da. make a ranged spell attack on a hit. They take 2d8 plus 1d6 damage. Mm -hmm. So 2d8, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Where's no, my no, no, you're good. Please, no, don't gosh, apologize. Man. You're good. All right. Okay, that eight. 13, and then... 13, fantastic. And then, and then I roll a... Oh, no, the eight was to... Okay, so it's eight. It's thunder damage mm -hmm. with five plus 1d6. Mm -hmm. So 10 points of damage. Oh, uh, to one of these? Yes. Okay. Um, so you hit the one that has already been, um, been hit before and it just like thunder damage, you send out this burst of sound and it just <clears throat> straight in its chest and this thing just shatters into pieces, scattering across. Um, well done, well done, well nice. done. Amazing. Uh -huh. okay. Um, and then it's the statue's turn. Uh, so we got one on, um, Bayonard. I'm going to roll for each of these as we go. Um, that is, Jesus Christ, that is freaking uh, uh, seven. So even no. you, it misses. The other one's going to go for three. <laughs> um, that is an 18 to hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Noah, don't forget to roll your rush. Um, and that is going to be a 16 to hit Krom. 16 to hit, that hits me. Okay, fantastic. So, Pine, uh, both Pine and Krom, you both take uh, another five points of damage um oh, and uh each of you make a strength saving throw for me please okay, okay. uh we do, we do. 19. Oh, it was cocked 19 fantastic you succeeded. i had a 19 but it was cocked so i'm gonna reroll 18 okay didn't matter. 18 also succeeds this child is extremely strong and crumb is uh pretty good on his feet um so <laughs> that is going to be their turn uh and now we are on to pine Tell me your plan, um, small child. Okay. Uh, uh, seeing the uh, uh, seeing the spicy muffin being eaten and then the big dragon breath explode out, uh, and then seeing this like giant thunder attack, they go, "Oh, I can do that! I can, I can do, I can do that! I can do that as well!" Um, uh, Pine then uh, runs to here, outside of the range, so maybe taking an opportunity attack if uh, if better they reaction are doing from the one. it. Who was next to you? Oh, you were running away from the painting. So yes, they are going to take a little opportunity yeah. attack. Um, Jesus, I am rolling garbage. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, as this like as the splinters jump out, they're like, oh, whoops. Um, run to the position, oh. and they're like, look, 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 <laughs> and they like, there's this huge like uh like image of like a huge adult uh lightning dragon. The storms like. <laughs> all around as they open up their mouth and shoot a, uh, a, a, a straight shot of lightning uh, oh, straight God. through uh, the two of them. They both need to make uh, dexterity saving throws. That was beautiful. So uh, you are, uh, who are you targeting here? I, uh, I am targeting both of these statues in Wonderful. the line. Uh, they need oh. to make dex save of 13. Incredible. Um, that and is... I'll roll. That is, uh, nope, that is an 11, so that one fails, and then the other one oh, I love rolls that. a 12! I love that! Uh, so they both fail! Uh, they both take 9 lightning damage each, 
Um, Absolutely fantastic. Oof. 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 Like, ha, ha, ha. And then after they do it, they get up and like, see, I, I do it. To, I could do it. I could, I could do it as well. Uh, you did a great job. They're looking a little rough. And then it's going to be uh, this giant picture is going to once again attempt to attack our friend, Leonardo. The, uh, nope. No, no, that is not going to hit, even with Bayonard's AC. Uh, no. and that... Ian, they have like five misses on me. I'm just, I feel so bad for them. Don't, <laughs> don't pity me. <laughs> I'm here to kill you. Um, sorry, that was just my DM power getting to my head. Okay, that is going. That one is also going to freaking miss. It was. I rolled a two. I rolled a two and a three. Everybody celebrate. Um, okay, so that's going to be their turn, and now that brings us to. Bayonard, your go, bud. Uh, okay, uh, I don't want to take more opportunity attacks, but, uh, hmm, interesting. There's a child one direction or a single target the other direction. Oh, wait, I can teleport. What direction is here? How? What was that? So oh, one direction. Okay, I'm going to, uh, uh I feel all tingly. Uh, okay. <laughs> And I sneeze and teleport 20 feet uh, behind the uh, the large painting. Yes, fantastic. Uh, and uh, actually, wait, let me let me let me see here. Actually, I want to go here because I want to be able to hit the three of them with my cone, with my dragon nice. breath, which yes. I can still do as an action on my turn every turn. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Do okay. it, and I and do I get Whoa. another deck saving throw? Yes, three deck save or a deck save from each okay. of them. Uh, DC um, so the painting is going to succeed uh, with like a 21, like a 20, I think. Um, and then the two statues are going to, -da -da -da, that is a failure and that is a failure. So the two statues fail, but the painting succeeds. Okay. Those that fail take 16 points of fire damage and the painting takes eight points of fire damage. Ooh, oh, even with the success, uh, the painting also bursts into flames and these two statues are immolated. Uh, oh, in just amazing. this, if you nice. want to describe it, you can. I am just at this point, Bayonard is just, just like taking the last bits of the muffin and just like cramming them into his mouth. He's just crying, just it's so spicy, <laughs> just <laughs> and breathing this torrent of flame as this circular <laughs> cone goes for them. Oh, gorgeous! And oh, make sure you roll your nice. rush, Noah. What happened with you? Did you get anything? Oh, I got a 14, but it was cast to the le level one. So that's just, a le I beat the Fantastic. DC, right? Fantastic, yes you did. Uh, how okay. about I you, beat the DC as well. Uh, I didn't, uh, I rolled a breath weapon, which is the, just a racial Fantastic, ability, so, so draw, nothing uh, happens. There is like a whoo, pulse of wild magic, um, but it fades around you and nothing weird happens. And we're back at the top, which means that it's gonna be Krom's turn. Krom! Um, after just being struck down and trying to hurt this guy, I'm gonna go, ah, get back! And I, like, smack his knee, because it's probably where it is compared to me, like, at chest height, and I just smack his knee with shocking, uh, grasp. Hell yes. <laughs> Hell yes. Uh, nice. Um, that? That's a roll that is a... I'm just not doing it. That's a 13 to hit. Buddy. <laughs> no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nothing happens, and I go, <laughs> and I just, like, <laughs> jump back. And... It's just like, because this is a... And it's just marble, so nothing happens. <laughs> stands it's there. Grounded. Um, and then that one is going to go ahead and try and smack you. Um, it is going to roll a uh, that's like a seventeen plus five, so it's going to hit you. And are then you sure are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I don't know, but I did roll double ones, so that's going to be uh, like two points of piercing damage. Can you make a strength saving throw for me, please? Yeah. Strength. Wait, hold on. I want to do this in this one this time. Do it. Oh, I did two of them. Uh, just take the first one. Eleven. Oh, you fail. So uh, the other two oh watch God. as Krom is knocked prone across the room. So you are currently prone, my friend. Um, oh, and then hey. it is going to be Pine's turn. Go ahead, small these, child. These statues suck. I mean. Let the power flow um, through you. Uh, <laughs> um... Pine um, uh, quickly runs uh, over to just behind the painting and yes. then um, uh, outstretches their arms and um, like out, out of their voice comes a, like a very heroic 
by the power of Grayskull esque, like um, by the flames of the volcano. And they're gonna cast Burning Hands in a fifteen foot cone, which should hit both of these things. Oh, um, sugar! Is that gonna hit uh, from? I believe because of the fifteen foot cone, no. But I will also take that I am a tiny child and don't know any better. I believe it's this. I believe that's what. A, if you can see that, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can, I can see uh, it. That's Just what outside. the fifteen foot cone would be. Yeah. Um. Uh. Both need to make yeah, dexterity sure. saving throw and beat fifteen. Yeet. Um. Okay. Let's do it. Uh. That is a. Uh. That fails. So the statue hell fails. Yeah. And uh. The painting also fails. Hell yeah, gamers! Let's go. Um. Let's go, gamers. Is... Oh hey, that is the worst roll ever. Um, oh no. Because that is. Well, that is one one and two twos. However, oh, um, they're gonna ga, and there's gonna be this small like pff, uh, piddly piss amount of damage, and be like, well, that's Fantastic. not good. Um, a large dragon is gonna put their hand on the shoulder, and be like, no, like this, and then sh- and then like <laughs> for some reason, in a very Mufasa style, is gonna show them how to do it, uh, and they're gonna cast their meta magic empowered spell, which means they get to Yo! reroll damage. Um, oh lord. Uh, ba Oh, and that's way more spicy. That's a five and two sixes, gamers. Um, that's much better. That is. <laughs> it's the opposite of the damage I just rolled. Which is five and two six, which is eleven, uh, seventeen. Oh, oh. Um, as this, you obliterate this both large of them. dragon is like, this is how you do it. Outstretch your fingers. Believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> and ah, <laughs> I understand. Um, as. <clears throat> Huge torrents of flames flying, yes. spat everywhere to excite the um, tiny tail. And off. these, the painting just goes up in flames. Um, the sealant that they used on it is just wildly flammable, and so it just like almost explodes in front of you. And then the <laughs> you watch as the sudden heat uh, from this spell collides with the cool air of the mausoleum, and the um, the marble that was used to form the statue just cracks all across, and then pff, tumbles into dust. And we are out of initiative for now. We did um, it. And as the initiative fades out, as these creatures are destroyed, we're suddenly in a forest. Um, and he, oh. <laughs> no, I'm <Wait>. just kidding. <laughs> um, you, uh, um, you kind of like you hear the audience come back in screaming in support for you um and the the voice of evers comes back in and says well done well done you've cleared the first room but which way will you take to make it to the twinget uh, and they disappear back into the darkness oh oh so you see in front of you first of all if there's anything that you want to do during this time, you can. But you see in front of you, uh, to the top left, oops, hold on, that's the wrong thing. To the top left, you see this hallway uh, leading up to some stairs. You see an almost identical hallway leading up another set of stairs, and you see another hallway leading this way. You, you don't see any stairs yet. Um, Pine runs over to our halfling friend, and is like, am I taller than you now? Because I just grew six inches. Um... I don't know well, how just... much I grew. Six inches is very specific in a oh, well oh. in in universe. <laughs> maybe I shrunk. I think regardless, <gasps> you mad... both did a great job. Here, have a chocolate chip cookie. And I'm gonna <gasps> pull out two chocolate chip cookies. I'm gonna hand it to both. And I think that's. Well, I'm good. just as excited as Pine right now, like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> they should still be warm. Well, as I'm slowly chef. taking out a small bottle of milk to drink it, still tears coming down my cheeks <laughs> from the spicy. My I kidneys mean, like, hurt. Uh, did you go? Or did you two? You two did so many, uh, so many spells. Did you both also get uh, blessed by the power of the twelve astral dragons that rule the realm in the comic book series that I really like? Uh, no, I think I finally got my magician powers. I've been training for eight <gasps> years, and I've never been able to do it, but it just happened. So, like, I think I trained hard enough, and I think I finally did it. I, I got it. Yeah! I do card tricks. You want to see one? And I try to do one yes. again, and it fails. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, as it fails in the card, like, flutters to the ground. There, As it touches the ground, it does, like, pulse with <gasps> this wild magic, and then it just begins to, like, float upward very slowly as though gravity has been 
slightly altered, and it just ah. floats up to the ceiling and lays on it. Sloane, I completely forgot that even though the things rolled, I didn't roll the wall magic, and I surged. I didn't realize. I oh, forgot what happened? that I, uh, I am, I'm not sure yet. I forgot to uh, roll as soon a as... seven. I hope none of us roll a seven. We'd kill ourselves. What do you I roll, don't... like a D100? Yeah, it's on the and then okay. there's the wild magic table and you and okay, you just so I just because I also failed I totally I forgot, forgot to I did. remind you yeah um, there's a oh okay as as they um as the like fire that they did earlier dissipate like because it's it's still like because uh, all the ash and all the things that was left by the painting and the statue um there's this like fluttering of uh of wings and and these like growing uh plants um and illusory butterflies and power flettle pow, flower petals nice. flutter in the air within 10 foot of you for the next minute yeah it looks like all, an anime around pine it's just like uh it's it's incredible uh just cherry blossoms everywhere <laughs> what, what about you prom <laughs> to make this even better uh, i rolled a 13 so that means i cast confusion centered on myself <laughs> <laughs> this goes slack jaw eating a chocolate chip cookie <laughs> So, and, 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 like this whole anime scene happens around us, we're just and Krom just goes like <laughs> completely confused. Uh, uh, tell me what happens with confusion. So I was trying to read it really quickly as he was doing that. It says you have to make a wisdom saving throw, uh, which I think mine is a fifteen to pass uh, to not be affected by it. Okay. Um, it says. And then we just have to like every single at the start of our turn we have to roll a d10 to determine its behavior for that turn. We'll we'll take that and like go through it. Um so uh here we go. Um did you make your wisdom save? I'm about to do Is mine this right all now. All of us? No. Uh, I think it's no, just, okay. it's only a 10 foot uh, radius. So since you walked up right. to me. Yeah. Okay, thank, beautiful. Thank God. <laughs> Although this Wait, is exactly so what I wanted. Time. That would have been amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, actually, no, you you walked up to us to give us chocolate chip cookies. I guess we all would be. Aha! I succeeded the wisdom save because that's I'm used, true. I'm it was used a to being used around my wife. Oh uh, yeah, I got it. Sixteen, just, uh, just. I got safe. eleven. Just... I did not. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. Um. So go ahead and roll that d10 for me, Krom. Just uh, go ahead. And, yeah. yeah. I got a one. I can't believe oh. you got given weed brownies. That's what just is what? Boy. <laughs> what? Did you, did you give me an edible? That's great. Right. Just like takes one bite and is in. Sp- Base. Just... No, that's a different one of my spells. We're not oh, going to worry okay. about that one yet. <laughs> um, wait, so wait, what is it? I can't find the one. Oh, wait. Behavior one, the creature uses all of its movement to move in a random direction. To determine the direction, roll a d8. Fun. Roll a d8. Um, Here, I got it. Roll a d8 and assign uh, a direction for each face. Okay, so I just move 25 feet in a single direction. Okay, um, so uh, Krom very suddenly just, like, stares at the cherry blossoms and then just starts sprinting in the opposite direction and ends up over there. And <gasps> yeah, then just, like, going? stops moving. Um, no you all secret? have three uh, hallways to choose from um, as the timer continues to tick down on your time. You're about, like, uh. I would say, like, 45 minutes. Every time I get lost coming back from the shop, my wife always tells me that I need to take the first left, so maybe we go left? Okay! Pine says, immediately sprinting after Krom, like, following. <laughs> so, y'all, y'all are going this way? I'm coming out of my confusion while still eating this cookie. I'm just like, yeah, sure, let's go. Okay. More go cookies ahead. if you come this way. Go ahead and move <gasps> yourselves up that way. Um, <laughs> and as you enter this stairway, there is a very sudden... Boom, another pulse of wild magic. And ah. each of you have a choice. You can do one of four things. You can gain back 10 hit points. You can regain a sorcery point. Ooh. You can regain a spell slot. Or you can uh, end a, an effect on you. I'm so confused. Spicy. You should still probably be confused. It depends on how long it lasts. but Because you roll uh, at the start of each of your turns, right? Yeah. So when, when, how points. frequently should I roll in, by the way? To see if I break it. I mean, if it's only been a couple of seconds, you're probably good. Okay. So just it says up to you one. You can roll to see. Is you that... can roll and see if you break it before you get to the hallway. Just gotcha. to, just so that you don't uh, have to like waste something. Where is D twenty? What? Okay, I guess I'll, is, I'll do this. 
Is there My a limitation to the level of spell you can get back? Like, am uh, I able to get my third level back, or...? Um... And not right now. This one, I okay. would say you can probably get up to, like, le do, like, level I just, one. I can just take the first. Way. I just used the burning yeah. hand, so I'm happy to take the first level spell back. Yeah. Good question. So, Something I should have thought about. What? <laughs> I failed, so everyone else went to that entry. I got a three, so that okay. just means I don't move. So, uh, oh, great. I would say so that oh, there's, it, there's it, cookies. it'll probably fade, and they will, even if it doesn't fade, they'll like drag you along with them. Yeah. So it's fine. Gotcha. I'll, um, pick, but, up. I'll yeah. pick them up with my large muscles. Too. But unless you want to stay like, confused. Uh, no, it's only a minute long. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay, cool. And then you get the same benefit. So there you go. Uh, and now you continue you onward. That? You all are in a long hallway, kind of goes up this set of stairs. Um, you travel up the stairs and you end up um, <laughs> with your vision. You can see that you are uh, in, um, it's it's pretty narrow here. The ceiling is still quite high, um, but you can see in front of you um, a, uh, these like, they're sort of thin walls. They are made out of some sort of material that has like a lot of holes in it. Uh, and as you look over, you can see that there are like, Papers, sketches, paintings that are kind of hung up on these thumbtacks. Uh, these appear to be just like studio walls. Um, um, but as you step forward, you can't really see to your. You can see to your left a little bit. You can see forward a little bit. Uh, but your vision is mostly blocked. What do you do? Um, Pine is going around corners like yeah, ja, okay. because they're a little uh, kid that's just gotten superpowers and I'm very excited. Uh, um, so be you're going to. One. So show me where you go. They should be careful because oh, we got superpowers now. Bah! Oh shit! Bah! That's bah! A there we go. Yeah. Okay. You okay. Bah! Bah! And they turn around immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seems to be ah. fairly empty. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. You can hear some scuffling, some shuffling in the same in what appears to be the same room as you. If you look up, you can see that the ceiling continues overhead. Um, it just seems to be that these structures have been put up to show art on i'm i'm gonna jump is the gravity still the same as the per like because you said something was off with the gravity yeah the card got affected oh nothing but just the it. card okay <laughs> you just see you just see uh crumb uh how <laughs> all are these walls <laughs> uh these walls are about um they're quite tall they're like 12 feet okay yeah <gasps> what i'm about to suggest no one ever try this at home hey uh I do this with my kids all the doing? time. Can I throw oh, you God. in the air and then catch you and see if you see anything? No, I can't. Uh, yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. That'll be... That'll be uh, yeah, that'll, yeah, yeah, that'll, that'll be fun. My dad does that too. Okay. <laughs> Never <laughs> tried it at home. Using I'm just like, check for can I get oh, yes. like a 3D fog of war situation where I can control people's <laughs> perspective? If I could get that, that'd be great. Oh, I'm that. adding another. I'm adding another wrench into these works because as pine is lifted and thrown up, yes. Um, there's this this the, another vision of this of this dark ancient black dragon, but this black dragon has eight different wings, um, and poison seems to continuously drip from them. Like absolutely fantastic. Oh, young one. Do you like my ability to climb any surface? Oh, yeah, that would be really cool. Okay. Uh, and then Pine just sticks to the ceiling as Spider Climb is cast. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Uh, roll me your rush, please. <laughs> please don't roll a seven. Please don't roll a seven. I did definitely fail, so excuse me whilst I roll my... Uh, roll don't weapons. roll a seven. Uh, that's a, yeah. that's a 47. Okay, you can see the entire room because you're on the fucking ceiling. I just oh, yeah. 47 is. Um, 47. A unicorn controlled by the DM appears in a space within five feet of me and then disappears within one minute. I will remind you, I am on the ceiling, so that unicorn absolutely eats shit as soon as it's fucking spawned. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, okay. All right. Baby, cool. no! Um, um, the unicorn okay, so I am going to reveal the entire room to you because you can see the entire room. Uh, oh. You see that it is sort of maze-like uh, with how these things are set up, almost like a maze, like a maze you're supposed to go through, a maze. And then, <laughs> and then you see, you see, um, fucking Bayonard just like lifts this child and yeets it up to the ceiling. And as 
as Pine, as they reach the ceiling, they just, like, stick to it. Um, and as soon as that happens, there's this, like, beautiful pink and gold light that shines next to him as a glorious unicorn appears in the space and it's like posed with one leg up very elegantly and shaking its head and then it just drops out of the fucking sky on top of you two i guess um how heavy is you how heavy is a horse how the things i didn't think that i would ha have to google how, how you'll need to make dex saves to make sure you don't get impaled yes, please by make the a dexterity giant. save <laughs> Let's you see. Two. Horses are between 840 to 2,000 pounds. Fuck me. Okay, Jesus. we'll just say we'll say it's like a very small unicorn. No, God, Josh. Let's say it's like 900 pounds. You two make dexterity saving throws, please. Uh, uh, a dex save 16 minus right. one is going to be a 15. 15. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Dirty um, 20. And a dirty oh, 20. <laughs> okay, great. So both of you, show me where you jump to to get away from this. This, Again, I say, fucking horse. Like, where oh, are you going? <laughs> <laughs> right can, I, can I just jump up into it's his kind of arms right. as he jumps oh, away? Oh, like, oh, like bridal ah. carry? <laughs> I gotta see if you, if you murder a unicorn <laughs> in, in the course of this Wait a second, I... I gotta roll a himbo check real quick, actually. Oh no. I fail. I wanna try and catch the unicorn. Okay, so these are... <gasps> Hi, you're gonna try and catch the unicorn? Can unicorns fly in the D&D &D universe? Okay, I guess, can... I guess we can... I guess we can... I guess... You jump out of the way, and the unicorn is going to... Uh... Oh wait, maybe I can do something! It, like comes screaming down, just like neighing and winning, and you hold your arms out to catch it, and as it hits your arms, it just like... explodes into this like very cool glimmering powder of like fairy dust and shit. And then it appears right next to you, standing right side up. It used its once per day teleport, you fucks. <laughs> No, it's, it's, and then... It's Callum Bright, who's the, the great steed of the great master the destroyer. And as you are on the ceiling, Pine, you see this maze set out before you where there are several... There are statues, but these are very different. These statues are made of metal and wood and other, like, weird... This is like the modern art section uh, of the student um, programs of and practices. And <sighs> I'm not gonna lie to you, they look fucked up. Uh, they, they look, they look fucked up, uh, and it's, it's genuinely very terrifying. Um, but you were able to see, uh, that there is, um, a little hallway, excuse me while I go back to revealing an area, uh, down this way, at the end of the room. Oh, no. Hey! And there is bitch. also, sorry, sorry, there's one more that leads up out of it. Okay. This, this thing... This really big, big guy in the top left corner, he seems spooky. He's big. He has a big red circle around it. And you can see that that is a large tapestry. Oh. It does not appear to be moving. In fact, none of the things in here appear to be moving. Yes. Anti-meta. These all just look like statues, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he seems safe. Just a maze. I can walk oh, through the maze. Oh, uh, sorry. The, like, the ones that are tapestries, those are actually tapestries. They're, like, weaving. Oh, straight weaving. up? Okay. I forgot to mention that. Sorry. Okay. But, yeah. Um... Oh, it's just a maze. I can walk you through it. Uh, but if I walk out, I'll show you where to go. Um, oh god, I'm try. Okay. <laughs> just, unicorn's just, gonna just for fucking ease. come with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come, He's just walking on the me. ceiling, like guy. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, you are, but the unicorn's on the ground. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. I am trying so hard not to just walk past every single statue in a just collecting them all <laughs> um okay yeah just follow me and then pine will walk a path on the ceiling um and in the hopes that you will follow and and go with them i think um, i can agree with that one yeah 100%. Okay. is going to go this way and then down here um, um 
Yeah, and so as you all round the corner, this statue does begin to move, but I'm just gonna say the unicorn just automatically engages with it and just runs it through with its horn. Just, like, gores <laughs> it up against the wall. Um, yes. And it shatters. It. That was surprisingly violent. Um, it just oh, makes... Yeah. They do a lot of really scary stuff. Um, and you continue. Go ahead. Uh, continue down this way. And then oh, doop, oh doop, doop. that's a wall. So for the, oh wait no it's not sorry I didn't see it nope you're good you're good keep going uh, right. you continue on and then down um, this way this the, is the, the cutest uh, little map crawl I love this <laughs> yeah, I love the tiny you. as you come around the corner again you see a tapestry this one kind of like unhinges itself from the wall and just like stands there like it's gonna attack you and as it comes towards you again the unicorn just kind of like starts biting and fucking runs it through again and just rips at it until it's just like coming apart it's a it's a student made movie i love i love i love cow and bright so much so um cow and bright in episode uh in in issue three volume 12 blah, 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 and just talks like the whole time is just talking about uh like talking through this story in a way that a very excited ten-year-old would. You have not a fucking clue of any of the context of things. It all sounds very epic, though. I assume these stairs. So, did you yes, know that stairs. I actually have written? I've, i my wife told me not to publish it, no, but I... I've written my own comic book. <gasps> you wrote your own comic book. That's what? actually my where my my costume comes from. I I wrote. It's called the Muffin Man. But my wife said I was being stupid and that it wasn't going to make us money, so I didn't publish it. Ah, well, I, I think you I should. Made... You hear in the I... background, the entire audience goes, "Oh!" Mm. But I <laughs> love my wife a lot. She controls our finances because she's much Yay! smarter than me when it comes to that. I, I, uh, I, I also, I, I made this superhero costume. I don't think it's dumb. I've written, I've written myself into the universe with all of, uh, the here, the the twelve uh, arcane dragons. I, I love the, I love all my best friends. Uh, I think it's nice and neat. I don't think it's silly at all. Uh, um, so as you round this corner, you see this massive tapestry, and it just begins to shiver and shake. And this one is big. It extends all the way up to the ceiling, um, and it is massive and menacing. And as you start to walk through it, uh, what's the fucking unicorn's name? Calumbright. <laughs> Calumbright Calum sort of... <laughs> stands not in front of you on the ceiling because you're on the ceiling uh but in front of the other two and just stands there in a stance and shakes its head and even though it's whinnying you can hear what it says um as it says <laughs> go on pine i'll take care of this go on without me and it no. runs towards the tapestry and the tapestry begins to fall fall heavily from the nails and strings holding it up and as the two collide there's an explosion of beautiful pink and gold and fairy dust as the two are reduced to glitter on the floor Cam right now oh and beans he's, he's gone oh we're going to honor too. him i'll make i'll make a pretzel calambri when we get back oh yeah fuck yeah wait no <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Sounds great. It's soon... just like, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. Pine <laughs> says, fuck yeah. And then there's a, a like a, a a voice from the crowd be like, hey, swearing. Oh, sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, you have two possibilities before you. you can go forward or you can go to the right. I want to keep taking the left or uh, should we should we take another route? Oh, what, what? do you think? Well, when I set off on my journey, I said, just keep going. So I think straight. Cause we Y'all head a, on straight? Because we did another room. Should we get our cookie? Yes, you can oh, have yeah. another cookie. Okay, I have a couple left. I'm running a little <laughs> low on chocolate chips. Do can you, you want, hold on for mine. Do you can want you white it? chocolate macadamia nut? Do you want yeah. raisin oatmeal? Do you <laughs> want... Do yes, you please. want sugar hey, cookie? Take that back. I'll want... kill I will kill a child. I don't care. <laughs> Do you want chocolate caramel best. coconut? Do you Chuck want fudge? Do you just have a list of cookies mm. below you? It's like you're like looking at a list. I'm looking in my bag. I have a small bag. Oh, oh, chocolate okay. Can I have chocolate caramel uh coconut, please? Okay. Open your mouth. Oh, because he's on the ceiling. This is a right way of eating a cookie. Ah. Roll, oh my god, roll. 
Roll for cooking. Oh, dexterity, <laughs> yeah. Oh, dexterity, why? That's a nine, so I can't Actually, imagine. you know what? How about if you can roll a good strength check, and Pine can roll a good dexterity check, like keep the oh, roll over 15. I just rolled? Yes, absolutely. Okay, it's a 17 oh, if, total. If, Okay, you rolled one, rolled over 15. Pine, roll dexterity check to see if you can catch I'm the cookie in your mouth. Nine. Oh, nine. nine. It's a valiant <laughs> effort, but it just goes sailing past Pine's mouth. Uh, he just misses it. You're a- they're, they just miss it. You're able to catch it as it comes back down, because, you know, you rolled really well. Okay. So. I'll just hold on to this until you get back down here. No. Uh, and <laughs> you can see Pine wait, wait. runs down I'm just the gonna, wall. <laughs> I'm just going to use my mage hand and, like, slowly lift it up to, to Pine. Brilliant. I'm just Perfect. like, oh, here I got it. Here. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. That's is that amazing. a level spell? Uh, uh, what? It's a cantrip, okay, but it good. technically says that we have to roll. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Cantrip's fine. Cantrip's fine. Cool. You're good. Cool, 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 uh, cool. So you continue on to this hallway, and once again, you are hit with a hit. Look, <laughs> hit with a pulse of wild magic. Um, and you once again can regain either ten hit points. A first level spell slot, uh, a sorcery point, or and a effect on you. I'm hits. good on all fronts. I'll give that first sorcery point. Excellent. Okay, uh, so you head forward. Uh, who's up front? I suppose uh, me right now. And are yeah, you just are you going? Are you moving stealthily? Or are you just hopping? Oh, perfect, great. Uh, well, uh, Krom. Oh no. Yeah. God bless you. Uh, you. <laughs> oh, wait. What's the matter? I don't see anything going on here. Sorry. Fog of war <laughs> is difficult. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Sorry. I learned how to use real funny literally today. Uh, you step forward and you can see up ahead more statues. No, oh, no. <laughs> oh, statues and tapestries. They look small, but they're still there. They're not moving yet, and they have not caught sight of you. I like. Do I see them? Uh, like, so they haven't even seen. That. Uh, are you guys still right behind me? Yeah, I am. Okay. Yeah, uh, Pine has right climbed behind. down because I imagine yeah. it's like they're getting less sticky as they finish because it lasted an hour, so oh, they're oh. gonna walk. Okay, back here's a place. here's a cookie. You'll be more sticky now. Thank you. Interesting. No. Um, <clears throat> children are oddly sticky. They just are. Yeah, they're weird. <laughs> hey, so there's some more uh, statue guys up ahead. Should we like sneak past or something? What's what do you guys want? Um, I we could just we did a really good job handling the statues earlier. I mean, you guys did a really good job. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, you were you were a you valid a member job. of the team. Yes, I appreciate that. Oh, I mean, we can fight. I don't care. Uh, um, nothing hmm. can beat us with so a superhero team. All right. Yeah, uh, we can do this. You're like the 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 eye hawk of this group, you know, the one with uh, with with the uh, the equipment and not not really a whole lot of the big oh, showy stuff. Okay. <laughs> you know, like the man bat. Yeah, I'm in hell. Okay, yeah. so you're running forward. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. M P U. The... You run into this room and see an array of creatures, and as you run in, yelling that you are the, the heroes or whatever the fuck, they're gonna turn to you and try to attack you. So go ahead and roll initiative. Oh <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> crap. Same oh, thing. Seven quiet. minus one. I'm roll afraid. They are no good. Oh, I'm afraid. Oh I'm no. Afraid. All right, Bernard, what you got? Bernard is got a six total. Again. Jesus. All right. Fantastic. Seven minus one. Um, Krom, what'd you get? I'll do you one better, Aaron. I got a two plus three, five. Oh, nice. hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Pine. Ten plus two, twelve. Nice. Pine. Absolutely incredible. Uh, oh, and as you run into this room, it. you see uh, an array of statues, some marble, some metal, and they are going to set themselves upon you. But first, Pine, it's your go. Yes! Welcome to combat! Time to beat some ass! I, am, I don't know. I am. <laughs> Time to beat some ass! Time uh, to beat some ass! Fine. <sighs> Very excited. Ah, oh, yeah, let's go! Let's this, this, this run! And then it's gonna run to here. And they have them all in a line. And people are like, okay, okay, I gotta think. That is true. I gotta breathe in. 
and then I gotta get on all fours, and then I gotta roar, uh, and then I, and then there's like this shimmering, huge blue dragon that seems to like uh, seems to uh, get above them, and they are going to cast lightning bolt third level, um, which is a hundred a hundred foot line, <laughs> which is I all love of that. Ooh. Oh all, yeah, 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 yeah. I lined them up and nice and pretty sure. You're yeah. getting so many. That's I'm getting so good. fucked up. Josh, can I get some combat music when you have a chance? <laughs> uh, they all need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, fantastic. Um, um, they need to be 15 or take 8d6 damage. Oh, or half okay. As much all right, here on we go. A success. So. What have we got there? Uh, What's that face? Three of the, the stone ones get a natural one. Oh. <laughs> and the metal ones. Um, which are, uh, which have, like, they're weirdly, like, woven with a couple of, like, tapestries, so it's, like, between some of the metal ribbing on these, uh, weird, weird structures, uh, they've got, like, weaving and shit. Um, and they are going to, uh, that is a 14 plus dex makes it a 15. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, right, 15 so, decks is what they need to beat, so okay. I imagine they do make it. Beats it. So um, three of them fail and two of them succeed. Hey, I am going to say, though, apparently I'm rolling absolutely barbarically well today in terms of damage, because um, of five that I rolled, I did get a one on one of them, but I only got five, 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 six, um, which, I'm not going to lie, is exceedingly good. Jesus. Uh, okay, and then three more dice. Okay, those were shit. Um... As a... Okay, so altogether, this is uh, four, eight, um, 14, 31. 31 damage. 31. Halved if they made it. Yeah, halved if they okay. made it. Okay, uh, the three marble statues look fucked up. Like, they are How almost are chalk at this point. Um, wild. Bananas. Okay. Um, and then the other two, um, they look, they're a little singed. But they're still doing okay. It was half to 11? 15. Half to 15. 15. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So that's going to be, yep, yep, yep. Fantastic. Okay. And then it is going to be, <laughs> it's going to be the metal one's turn. Uh, oh, they're no. just going to go ahead and run towards the person who just, wrecked their whole shop um so 15 this one is just going to come up to you uh and this one 5 10 15 is going to use this action to dash 5 10 15 but it's not going to get any bonuses from that because it came in after this one is going to use its attack and it is going to um here we go it's going to try and hit you with one of its hands <laughs> uh that is going to be a 16 to hit you um the giant uh, dragon uh, paladin thing jumps in the way. They're gonna cast shield as they, <gasps> with their cloak, cover uh, over pine, um, making it a 17 they need to beat in terms of AC. Um, you know, it's still okay to cast on a turn if it's a reaction, right? Yes. Did you yeah. just cast a spell? Okay, great. It, 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 oh, it, the the rule right. about leveled spells applies to your turn, and reactions are not technically on your turn. They're at yeah. any point in time. Perfect. Incredible. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Um, Cool, perfect. Okay, so this thing like reaches out with one weirdly woven winged metal arm, like some kind of freaky pterodactyl that crawled out of a garbage heap and is gonna try and smack <laughs> you, but then it gets smacked away by one of your dragons. Uh, and that is going to be their turn, uh, which means that it's the stone boy's turn. Uh, and one of them is going to close with you and make another attack. Um, and this one is like, it's weird to watch this thing move because it's still got like a big, a big flat sort of chunk of marble or whatever stone it's made out of. Uh, it's a little bit darker. Um, and it is going to basically come up to you and then like try and fold itself around you. Um, so that is going to be... No, that's garbage. It is a 10 to hit. 10 to hit you, small man. Nope, nope. Small boy. Okay, perfect. Nope, nope. So that's gonna be his turn. And then this one is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and is going to attack Crom. That is going to be an 18 to hit. Barely. <laughs> um, and this 
sort of wall that a figure is seemingly trying to break out of snaps closed around you and you are grappled uh, um rude no. <laughs> uh until it ends you're restrained blinded and at risk of suffocating uh, uh and then it's the third one's turn so it's gonna go 5 10 15 20 25 30 can't really get anything else it's a little crowded in here so it's just gonna stay back uh, so, now, it is Baynard's turn. You just watched, oh. uh, your person next to you get consumed, basically. They're consumed, the kid consumed. is being surrounded. Uh, I was gonna do something else, but they're, they're just grouping up so nicely. Um, the oh. rectangles in the center are benches, and the circles along the edge oh, are columns that are about, okay. um, I would say, like, five feet tall. Okay. They're just, Which... they're grouping up so nicely. So not at third level like I did last time. I'm just gonna do this one at sixth level, or at second level. But okay. I'm gonna go in, and instead of the bright red muffin, I'm gonna pull out uh, a, a little, like, yellow muffin with little, like, specks of what looks like a, like a blueberry of some kind. I'm mm -hmm. gonna eat it. <gasps> Icy type muffin, let's do this! And he's gonna just start nomming on it as he's gonna do Dragon's Breath again, but this time choosing ice damage. Just cause Absolutely fantastic, for love fun. it. You know, uh, cold damage. Uh, and then he's gonna move there, and gonna get these three that are all very nicely grouped up here. Absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm assuming that's a deck saving throw. Deck save still, uh, okay, DC 15. Great. Here we go. This is for the Metal Boys. That's going to be, uh, both of them roll a, uh, a seven. Um, oh, seven. and then the, uh, other boy, our oh, Marble Man, nice. is going to, ooh, they did get a natural 20. Oh, sense. that sucks. Oof. Okay, well, I rolled on my 3d6s, I rolled four, or three fours, so that's going to okay. be 12 points of cold damage to each of them. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and that's Good. my turn. Uh, is it halved for... Uh, for the success, two? it's the half, yes. So it's six. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, that one actually is completely frozen and goes still. Uh, it is gone. It was oh, close beautiful. to death with the lightning breath. Uh, so, yep, Thank you God. are good. And also, I'll give you this little tidbit. If you cast spells, make sure you're rolling your rush. And then we are going to... So I, I messed up. I forgot to put this on the map, but there is a hallway. Uh, hold on. Wrong place. Hold, please hold. <laughs> up there. There's a hallway up there that leads across yeah. to another okay. room. I That was my bad. Sorry. Um, but oh. yeah, so that's going to be their turn. So Crumb. You're inside uh, a marble statue. <laughs> uh, can um, I speak? Um, you can make sounds. Sure. All right. So as I'm there, trying to like muffling, trying to like do anything, I'm trying to cast uh, grasping hands, and I end up using another sorcery point to do a uh, subtle spell. You can cast um, by using a sorcery point. I can cast a spell without using uh, spoken or uh, the other V thing. I don't know Matic. what it means. Right, yeah, perfect. yeah. That, yeah, verbal and yeah, no matter. Anyway, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Okay. Um, first, you take ten points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. Um, and so I guess I'll just have you. Uh, is that a roll? To, wait, sorry. You're what it are you says I have to uh, shocking grasp. Shocking grasp, and you rolled yeah. a hit in that, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just go ahead and roll. Yeah. Roll. <laughs> I got a seventeen plus seven twenty-four. Yeah. Hell All yeah. Right, cool. And Fuck then yeah. I'm going to roll damage. Nine damage. Nine damage. Okay. Yep. Wonderful. Um, oh, oh yeah. You shocking grasp this and it just crumbles around you oh, um, with a yeah. roll of thunder. This thing just oh, totally crumbles into so dust sick. around you. Cool as hell. Uh, as the air rushes back into your lungs. A little chalky. Um, and that is going to be, sorry, let me get rid of the ones that have been uh, murked. Do 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 do. Delet. The lit. Uh, and here we go. That is going to be your turn. Now we are back up at the top with Pine. Wait, I'm going to also just move I, I rolled Rush. We have Rushes. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. And I failed. Did everybody. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Aaron, what'd you get? I got, a t I got a 10 on the Rush, which is mm -hmm. I cast Magic Missile as a fifth level spell. Oh, my God. So Okay. Before we cool. before we do that, Matt, what did you get? Yeah. Um, I got a spicy 42 on my okay. Rush, which... Uh, cool kid gamers would know is uh, you turn into a potted plant 
at the, uh, until the start of your next turn. Whilst a plant, you are incapacitated and have vulnerability to... So that happens to me, my ten-year-old boy child. Um, did, so you did end... Uh, Noah, you did not need to roll because you used a cantrip. Um, um, yeah. Unless you want to. You can always I, I have been rolling. Like, I did it in the first yeah, okay, uh, then, combat, too. I got a 17, ahead, now, so I didn't have anything. Okay, fantastic. Um, yeah. How many hit points does the potted plant have? It has my hit points. So, so we have so to drop to zero? What no, kind of plant is until it? The, until the start of my next turn. Oh, I, okay. I am, I am a plant. Okay. Um, okay. So here's the thing, is that we did say at the start of this that instead of it it's, happening on your term, it starts at the top. At the round. So you're a potted plant for this round. Yeah. Yeah. I... Uh, so yeah. there's... <laughs> as this, like, surge echoes through the entirety of the building, uh, would you like to describe what happens as you turn into a plant? <laughs> um, they do this huge, like, huge uh, lightning bolt uh, down the middle. And they get up and they look at their hands. Like, oh, I'm the most powerful being that's ever existed. I can do anything. And then there's this like poof of 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 leaves, and there's this um, uh, there's this uh, dragon made entirely of 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 leaves and petals um, in their humanoid form. And it's like, child, you're going down a path that's far too dark, much like <laughs> old. Old Panicking. Deuteronomy did in oh, yeah. uh, uh, in the Adventures of of I the Forbidden Isle. Could have said Danakin. Fuck, Fuck, that's so much better. Damn Shit, it. I'm changing it. Danakin. No, Danakin. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no. Deuteronomy, who changed their name to Danakin? Uh, yes. Of Old course, Danny. as we all know. Yes. Um, Darth Danakin. Before they yep. became Danakin the Duck. Um, yes. <laughs> you. It's like, oh no, I must repent, just like they did. And you must become, yes, you must spend a year in the, not a year, a few weeks in the realm, in my realm. And I can teach you the ways of being good again. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Both potted plant. <laughs> and uh, as this potted plant appears out of nowhere, it's, um, this energy sort of radiates outward from it and runs up Bayonard's legs as a spray of magic missiles. <laughs> Shoots from his hands. Do you want to describe what happens? I, um, I just, I, I take this moment, and as I finish, like, breathing out the cold breath, there's this moment where my hands start to shake, and suddenly just five, oh, wait, no. So, it's, at base level, it's three, plus four more for each of the things. It's gonna be a total of seven. Seven golden scones appear above my hand, and they just fly out. <laughs> and I'm gonna target, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna target... Four of them at that at that uh, the statue that's right in front of me, and then three okay. at the one behind it, and they're okay. auto hits. I need yes. d4s. Give me just a moment. I'm so sorry. Okay. So uh, I need to pull. I have magic missiles. One of my prepared spells, so I can just hit it Absolutely real quick. Okay. Incredible. Okay. So each one deals one d4 plus uh, four. So that's gonna be several ones on all of those. Okay. So the four that went to the front one only takes eight points of force damage, and the three that went to the back one is much better. Uh, okay is going to be 11 points of force damage to the one to the back. Good, 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 good. As okay. I attack them with my golden scones. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, you do so. Um, they're, they're still up, but barely. Fine. Um, and then the one, the leftover marble, looks fucking rough. Which is good. Because it's almost his turn. Um, these two in front of you are going to try and hit you. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do the thing. Da 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 da. Mm, that is going to be a 19 to hit on the first one. Oh, definitely hits. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And then the second one is going to it's more than around, double my AC. And it is going to actually I'll say the first one was that one, and then the second one is going to go for um, uh, Pine. And it's a plant child. Gonna try and attack a no. You're right. It doesn't make sense that it would attack a potted plant. It's gonna go around this way and go for Crom. I don't want to attack a potted plant child. That doesn't seem nice. Uh, I feel like that is going to be like two different fronts. I feel like that's one of the things that like Saint Peter would list off to you as reasons why you don't get into heaven is you attack the <laughs> potted plant child. Yes, yes. Uh, that's going to be a twelve to hit you, Crom. Uh, that does not hit. Fantastic. So it misses on you, but it does land one on Bayonard. And Bayonard, you are going to take. 
Um, five points of bludgeoning damage. And you are grappled. As this thing reaches forward, smacks you upside the head, and the weaving from one of its weird garbage bag pterodactyl wings just just <laughs> closes around you, and you get tangled in it, and you are grappled. Um, Things need air to rise! Oh. And, <laughs> and then this stone person is also going to come around, but it can't really get to anybody, so it's going to be stuck back there. Um, and that's going to be them. And so that's going to be Bayonard. It's your turn. You are currently grappled. Okay. Uh, you uh, can make a check to escape if you like. Uh, and is that my action? Yes. Okay, that's my action. Uh, instead of that, I already have my Dragon's Breath spell going. Because Oh, actually, when I got hit, I should have made a concentration check for the Dragon's Breath. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a success. Uh, but nice. uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just point blank while inside of it, just cold breath out. See if I can Amazing. Do it with my Fantastic. action. So that's cool. a deck save from it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it rolled very well. It rolled a 17. Oh, that's going to succeed then. It's only going to take half damage. And I rolled Garbaggio. What Terrible. would be eight turned to four points of cold damage to it. Oh, buddy. Uh, and, and, and that is uh, it. That is my turn. I am, okay. I was trying to kill it, but it did not work. Not everything okay. pans out. So that is my turn. Um, all right. Sounds good. Yeah. Crom, go ahead and go. Crom. Oh, me, yes. My You're good. mind spaced out. I was like, wait, no, the statues are next. Um, yeah, seeing this, I know there's a guy right in front of me, but I'm going to, again, use the sorcery uh, point and use oh, yes. uh, Twin Spell and do a Chaos Orb on the one right in front of me and the one grappling, uh, uh, fucking, I can't, names. Banard. <laughs> Aaron, Banard. Uh Let me yes. roll two attack. So it's going to be two attacks. The first one, I rolled a 15 to hit the one next to me. Yes, that hits. And then I rolled a, uh, sorry, Bernard. I rolled a 10 to hit the one grappling him. Mm, okay. No, that does not okay. hit. Yep, yep. It's okay. Uh, so two D8s. Hold on. Uh, six and five. Okay, so coming down here. Da, da, da. This is at level two, by the way. Okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, six. So, okay, I'm doing lightning damage and then. Wait a minute. Oh, I think I'm doing the spell wrong. It's a spell. So it's chaos. Yeah, chaos bolt. So I roll two d8, but I only take one of them for the damage type. What is the other d8 used for? Wait, wait, what? The... No, no. So you pick one of those, and that's the damage type it, type it deals. But it still deals. And the then 2D8 it's just damage. a one d6 damage. Okay. Oh, no, or it's two d8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, two d6, right? Not two d8. It's a two d6. It's it's whatever the the thing is. I can pull it up if you'd like. Gotcha. Okay. So I just do a two d6. Uh, that is 10 damage on the one right in front of me and... Okay, absolutely lightning. fantastic. Yeah, you okay. point forward and you just like burn a hole straight through this thing uh, as it just is obliterated. Uh, no, you should be dealing 2d8 oh, yeah. plus 1d6 total damage and on the d8s you just pick one to deal the damage type. Oh! Yeah, so you, you do all three dice worth of damage. Love chaos bolt. Oh, wow, that's insane. Okay, I thought it was just the... It's a wild okay. banana spell. I've, I've used it wrong every time I've used it, and I don't even care. It's worked. So anyway. <laughs> Listen, uh, no one knows how um, to play this game. We're all just faking it. Um, uh, absolutely, what, whatever you choose to do, that much damage killed it, so you're good. Okay, uh, cool. You can describe it if you like, but it is it is deceased. Um, uh, the lightning strikes the metal and just kind of blows it up. And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, did anybody get anything on the wild magic table? Ooh, let's find I was out. just using a continuing Aaron. effect, so I didn't roll any. Okay, Matt. Yeah. I'm still a plant. You are oh. still a plant. Okay, great. <laughs> let's see if no no one gets anything. Uh, one second, I gotta look at what it is. Get your shit. Do it. It's Seventeen. I grow a long beard made of feathers that remains until I sneeze, at which point Incredible. the feathers explode out of my face. <laughs> That's beautiful. That is so. I and love sure that. enough, so Crom just it just erupts in like glorious peacock feather beard, flowing down his body all the way to the floor, as wild magic pulses through him. Uh, and we are back up at the top. Pine, you pop back into existence as a small child. You're no longer a plant. <sighs> <sighs> 
Um, is it Pine's turn? It is your turn. Go ahead. Um, Pine bursts out, and and with them bursting back into a person, a bunch of bees just scarper out of this realm um, that uh, uh, they they pop from. Um, the bees uh, go to this little uh, little horsey statue right next to them. Um, Fantastic. Kill casting him. infestation as Pine com- is entirely not registering what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, they need to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh, okay. Here we um, go. That is going to be the horse. That is going yes. to be constitution is a 15. But yeah, they, they beat it. Uh, they, bat- <laughs> they bat the bees out the way and then the bees are just like Absolutely and fantastic. fly away. As Pine... Uh, Looks over to the the big the tree dragon woman yes. and they discuss uh, bees. They dis- <laughs> oh my gosh, bees! That's a sound effect just- on the board. Oh hell yeah, it is, brother! <laughs> the sound and they discuss the his board. time in in her realm and and they just talk for a little bit uh, and then yeah, that's pine. That's pine done. Okay, fantastic. Um, as this happens, the ground beneath you begins to shake as these prisms of rainbow light sort of ripple over the walls. And the two statues sort of pause. And it seems as though wherever their heads are, they kind of like turn backwards. And then they are going to run away from you. <laughs> um, so you may make an attack of opportunity if you wish. Anybody who has somebody leaving their range, 1, 10, 15. Uh, I will use me? my bread knife. That is a natural one. Right. Oof. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, yeah, pine, pine misses with a little just kick. Okay, little, little kick. kick. And like, then, um, Chrom, I think you could have probably gotten one off if you wanted to. If you wanted uh, to try. I'll whip my boomerang back at one of them. At the Make horse. an attack. Make an uh, attack. Doing it now. I got... A nine to hit. All right, so they they run away. Um, we're gonna go ahead and say that we're kind of out of initiative. We'll take these turns. You are a group, they are a group. So you all can go. Um, if you would like to do anything other than run, let me know. If you're following them or if you're staying, it's up to you. We can either chase after them or stay here. I think we can take them. What do you guys think? <sighs> yeah, I think I could take, hi guys, I missed you. Yeah, we can definitely fight them. You had a bit of an existential crisis there. I'm not sure what happened, but I think we should we should definitely talk about I, that later. I was I was locked in the realm of the of the tree queen for three months, five days. But they're gonna, what you to go, do that for, they're gonna go ahead and keep moving down this hallway. Turned into a, yeah, we're running into out. a pine tree. Uh, yes, and then they. <laughs> <into a pine laughs> <tree. laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. So you all can keep going after them, um, and you come to a room and this room looks familiar to you because in it you can see the same statue oh. Ooh. holding oh. the ingot as it grinds and moves to stare down at all of you the ingot is in its hand held up you can see also in this room there are two sets of stairs that go up to another level and in the center hanging from the ceiling is a massive chandelier uh, right over top of this creature. Um, just like tinkling light coming in through the huge windows and refracting off of it so that there are rainbow prisms all around. Um, and we're going to start once more in the same initiative order, if you don't mind. Uh, so, Pine. Actually, Pine, you went first, so I'm actually going to start a little bit further down. Bayonard, if you'd like to take your turn, go ahead. Okay. You can see the ingot in this That's creature's so- hand. There's, we can see the ingot, and the goal is just to get the ingot, right? Your like goal that is to retrieve the ingot and get it back if you can within time. But okay, that part's easy. Can I try something a little weird? Fuck yeah! Okay, I'm gonna pull. Uh, I'm gonna pull into. I'm gonna go into my bag of, of pastries and pull out uh, a small bag that's labeled uh, day old muffins. Uh, I'm gonna what? pull out a really stale hard one and put it in my hands together and. Uh, and you're gonna see this whirling force that smells kind of like cinnamon to catapult the thing <laughs> to try and hit the ingot out of the thing's hand. That is Shit. an incredible. Um, That's great. I guess go ahead and make an uh, a ranged spell attack. Okay. So just go ahead and pl- uh, add your like 
Okay. Uh, that's modifier and proficiency. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's going to be plus, plus seven to it. Okay. That's 11 plus seven is 18. Oh, Ooh. shit. Um, yeah. You, like, y- y- this creature, like, turns towards you. Ingvit held aloft, but it's just like... <sighs> and then you, uh, just thinking quickly, pull out this stale brick of a muffin and hold it out uh, in your hands and just kamehameha this shit in a cinnamon blast uh, up towards the ingot. And there is a resounding ting as it ricochets off, chipping some of the the marble uh, in this creature's palm. And the ingot goes flying out of it and falls yeah. down to the floor, skittering. I'll say that the ingot is over... Um, don't worry about the paintings. Those are stuck to the wall. Um, I'll say that the ingot is, like, over here. It's fallen off to the side. Um, but it is on the ground, and this creature is just staring at all of you. Uh, Krom, you can go ahead and take your turn now. Little ones, get the ingot! I'm just dashing for it. (laughs) Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go for Um, it. Um, does that lead opportunity attack to enemies near me? As you move past, they're gonna try and attack you. Okay. Five, ten... 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Um, uh, one of them is going to hit you, but you only take uh, two points of damage. Two points. As you gotcha. squirt past, going fast. Um, Pine, go ahead. Um, Pine also takes off sprinting. Yes. Um, uh, one sec as I just, uh, as they do, they, uh, they start and there's this whoop of, uh, like, um, mist, mi- magic, it's magic shit. Yes, it's magic uh, shit. It's magic shit. Who cares? Um, it's amazing. they're going to cast mist, they cast misty step. Oh! Um, they're going to teleport 30 foot ahead yes. of them. So no oh. opportunity attacks and then sprint. The yes! other 60 to get all the way to the ingot to try and think and catch it before Ooh! it hits the ground. That's uh, so good. That's so yes! good. <laughs> um, I'm not even going to. Fuck yes. You catch the ingot. You uh, misty step in an explosion of glitter and petals as you run forward this tiny little. Well, not as tiny as the, at the start, but <laughs> tiny little d- dragon form. Runs, 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 eyes locked on the silver ingot, just glinting with energy coming from the beautiful chandelier above you, and you jump, and you jump, and you reach, and it's almost just past your grasp, and then you grab it with your hands, and your nails dig in, and you football tumble to the ground, holding it into your chest, and there's a blaring, as an as a sound alarm goes off, and your timer hits zero, you crash to the ground, Cape flying out behind you, um, the paintings still, and the gigantic statue grinds to a halt as it turns to look at you. And the wild magic pulses around you as the movement fades. And you hear the <laughs> of the crowd around you as there's one more bright flash and you find yourselves back in the room where you started back at the start um, down in the main hall and as you appear here you see Evers appear in front of you in all their Trelawney glory and the crowd suddenly appears these floodlights zooming around the room making circles and and looping around and over just revealing all kinds of people on their feet cheering screaming as they clap and the three of you look around more confetti fluttering down around you what do you do in this moment of victory? Celebration cake! And I just pull a full ass cake out of my bag for all of us. <laughs> uh, Noah, uh, anything to with you? Oh, um, go ahead. No, go. No, no, you go. You definitely go ahead. Uh, uh, as soon yeah. as any, as soon as a, a pastry good is revealed, the very high monetary value item pine just drops, <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> and grab it, and like. Uh, Oh, as good. as as uh, Chrome sees Pine just drop the ingot, he's gonna go <laughs> and jump for it, <laughs> and then like out from under, he's gonna pull out a card and just go. <gasps> <gasps> a 
the audience screams with applause. And yes, that was Congratulations. My you, you from the ordinary walks of life have come forth and proven that anyone, anyone can wield the power so long as they have friendship. <laughs> and the crowd explodes. I was some magic we had. Oh. Uh, and rainbow colors prism around you. Um, and then Evers kind of leans in and goes, now here's the thing, is that we didn't really include in the contract whether or not you're going to give up the wild magic, so it's kind of up to you. Um, probably best if we just say that it happened with everybody, but it's kind of your choice. This is way too entertaining. I'm going to keep it. Okay, great. Uh, how about how about you, Crom? It was Crom, right? Crom? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, let me do one more thing, and I'll be done with it. That's all. Let me just get this one. Uh, uh, um, small one. What do you think? Uh, Pine looks out to the audience. Can they see the audience now? Yes, you can see them in like flashes as these huge floodlights just whiz um, around. See this like very, very like large muscular um, uh, dragonborn next to uh, two large muscular dragonborns just just stood next to each other, and and one of them uh, one of them looks very worried. The other one's just like. Like, oh, I'd like to uh, be a super. Uh, I'd like to be a superhero, please. Perfect, wonderful. And you, Crom, you had something you wanted to do. Crom, yes. Sorry, it's like oh, okay, you're good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're like everything stopped. I was like, uh, okay. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, just one moment, and I take my 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 deck of cards and I go. Remember the name well, Crumb Bombadil, the greatest magician alive. And I throw my deck of cards up and I get shrouded in a deck of cards as I missy step out of view from everyone. Ah. Uh, so as my I final magician. That was really cool. <gasps> are, you, are you letting the wild magic go? Yes. Okay. Um, Evers holds up what appears to be an empty glass orb, sort of like a terrarium. And. Um, uh, this like prismatic magic just rushes past all of you, rushes out of out of the building, all going into this orb that they hold aloft, and then they whoop, cork it and put it back into their robe. And that is it. For this session of Ever's Changing Arena. Congratulations! So you the that was so and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not kidding, everybody. I got no man. I'm happy. Wonderful. Um, thank you all so much for joining me. Everybody had a good time. We had a good, good time. Oh, brilliant one. Yeah, that Absolutely was phenomenal. phenomenal. Uh, that is going to be it for Ever's Changing Arena Rush, subtitled Oops All Sorcerers. Um, and let me see what I have to do here. I am going to hand it back to the disembodied voice. Hey, hey, guys, before we go any further, can we give Sloan a huge round of applause? Woo! No, no. So good. Ah, oh, you did amazing, Sloan. You are fantastic. So Thank you for coming and DMing on our channel. We're so lucky to have you. Freaking legend. And none of this Sloan goodness could be brought to you without <laughs> our partners, the first of whom is Soundtail. They do cool music stuff and sound effects most of the time, which I'm on the ball for. Sometimes I forget we're in combat. Anyway, hey, you can do get yourself a copy of the amazing Soundtail. If you click on the link in chat, you can get it for your Android device. You can get it for all kinds of cool stuff. Highly recommended. Of course, our second partner is Arcane Anthems. Ooh, he creates all those amazing intro songs for our shows, but beyond Beyond that, and more importantly, he makes a bunch of free D&D &D music for you guys that you can get on his Patreon. Click on that link in chat, go get yourself a copy. Uh, of course, I would be remiss not to mention the fact that we are affiliates with Found Familiar Coffee. Go to that link in chat and click on the, or enter the welcome in code to get 10% off. You too can taste initiative. Haha, <laughs> I did the line. Hey, nice. guys, a huge thank you to all of our amazing mods for keeping this channel safe, for keeping this community amazing, for doing all that work and keeping up with our random incoherent announcements. We would be lost without you guys. You're the best. All right, that's it for me. Slum, back to you. Uh, let's go in the opposite direction. Noah, do your social media things. Sure. Hi, uh, my name is Noah or Nova Killing on all platforms. Uh, you can mostly find me on Twitch. I stream a wide variety of games, mostly Minecraft. Uh, it's a great time, great community. Join the Lumberjack family. We'd love to have you. Matt. Oh, the beautiful people. Um, I am uh, Captain Crail on all things. 
but uh, mainly on Twitch. I stream Monday to Thursday, and uh, so I'll be live tomorrow. I'll probably be talking about uh, about this game a lot, and then playing some Mass Effect. Which is fun time for join for goofs and just general revelry. Yay, uh, Aaron. Hi, I'm Aaron. All I'm Zara's out of City and all, and I'm all right. But if you want to see me, where I hang out with a bunch of really, really dope people every week, you can go to twitch.tv slash this show is a mimic, and I play there every Saturday, and we have a great time. Uh, yeah, it's really fun. And I am Sloan, aka at Artplead. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch. I am on Faithy Fiends, Fiends and Friends on Sunday nights at 8.30 p.m. EST, playing a slutty little wizard, and I am on this <laughs> channel uh, on Friday nights at 7, huh, playing a half-elf anxiety druid um just kidding he's a storm druid um and other than that i would like to give a big old thank you one to dungeon scrawl which is what i use to make my maps love them they also have an isometric option that is very very cool and two i would like to thank my absolutely wonderful party for joining me here thank you all very much round of applause for you you've made it so fun and also thank you to josh who ran the stream for me Hello. because i would have a nervous breakdown if he didn't <laughs> Thank you to everyone who came and watched. Love you very much, and uh, have a good night. With that, Bye. my friends, in honor of Sloan, guys, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and raid Fae Fiends and friends who are <gasps> playing the Spell Sword yes! Dragon right now. So uh, stay with us. We're going to close out, but we will get you over there in just a minute. Okay, bye. 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 I will. Bye.